Hello everyone and welcome to the video. My name is Ketish. In this video, I'm going to go through the AQA 2018 uh, paper one higher tier for the combined science. This is question number five. This question is on the topic of energy. Figure seven shows cavity wall insulation being insulated, sorry, installed in the wall of a house. Question 5.1. Explain how the wall reduces unwanted energy transfers. Now, you should remember there are three different ways in which energy transfer happens. Conduction, convection, and by radiation. Now, the main point of insulating the wall is to reduce heat loss by conduction. So if it was just one brick wall, once the outside temperature, this is the outside I assume because usually you have bricks to make it look better and that's the inside and you would usually drill it from the outside when you're installing this insulation you wouldn't want to damage the inside wall so the main idea is once this wall gets cold on a winter during the winter the in inside will also feel cold so what they do is actually put another block wall and add insulation foam insulation in there in the foam insulation that's trapped air air is a very good insulator right so because the air is trapped it can't actually move around by convection so the main idea is to reduce heat loss by conduction here so how do you write the answer here's a sample answer the wall has three layers cavity wall insulation the brick and the block wall cavity wall insulation is a good thermal insulator that is key so if i i'll underline that so it has a low thermal conductivity that is also key so less energy is transferred by conduction that gives you the Three marks for that question. Next question. Question 5.2. The cavity insulation was tested. The heating inside the house was switched off. The temperature inside the house was measured every 20 minutes for two hours. Table 4 shows the results. So you have the time in minutes, which is from 0 to 100 and 20 that's two hours and the temperature seems to be going down steadily over two hours from 25 degrees to 8.4 degrees celsius what they're asking is determine the temperature inside the house after 30 minutes so what would be the temperature between this point right so how would you find that well the temperature obviously at 30 should be the halfway point between these two numbers so it should be above 20.8 degrees and actually lesser than 20.8 degrees but above 17.4 so what we can do is actually find the difference between these two numbers so let's do this calculation so if i take away 20.8 minus 17.4 that would give me 3.4 the difference between these two numbers these two temperatures is actually 3.4 let's see if I can. Right. it's minus 3.4 degrees celsius so the halfway point to find the halfway point you would want to divide that by two so that's divide that by two that gives you 1.7 degrees celsius so 1.7 degrees celsius so you can add that to 17.4 or Sorry, yeah, and it would be here the halfway point. So let's write this down 
ट्वेंटी पॉइंट एट माइनस सेवनटीन पॉइंट फोर डिवाइड दैट बाय टू दैट गिव्स मी थ्री पॉइंट फोर डिवाइड बाय टू दैट गिव्स इट वन पॉइंट सेवन आई एम गोइंग टू ऐड दैट टू सेवेंटीन पॉइंट फोर Seventeen point four, which gives me nineteen point one. Nineteen point one. One degrees. Next question. Question five point three. Figure eight shows. the gas boiler used to heat the house so you have the fuel coming in and there's a flame the hot water goes in gets hot the hot exhaust gas as it rises it heats up the tubes and the hot water flows out describe how different energy stores are changed by the boiler so different energy stores what are the different energy stores here so the different energy stores would be coming from the fuel which is chemical energy store and the hot water is actually thermal because it's getting hot so that's thermal now you need to say what actually happened or in terms of how they are actually changed so how would you write this answer what's happening to the chemical energy store of the fuel well obviously as it burns the fuel's energy store is actually going down and as the water gets hot its thermal energy increases so chemical energy store of the fuel decreases as the fuel burns the thermal energy store of the water increases as it heats up now that would be just two marks here for those two points to get the third mark you need to also say the energy store or the thermal energy store of the air or the atmosphere also increases so it's not just the hot water is actually getting warmer gaining energy the air around it because it's a hot exhaust gas so it's actually escaping out so there you got some of the energy going out so the third point mark is to say the thermal energy store of the air or the atmosphere increases question 5.4 to heat the house the boiler transfers 15 megajoules of energy in 10 minutes calculate the power of the boiler now 15 megajoules is 15 times remember mega is 10 to the power 6 joules now 10 minutes you need to convert that to seconds so 10 times 60 that would give me 600 seconds the equation that we are going to use is so power equals energy divided by the time so the energy is 15 times 10 to the power 6 i'm going to keep it in standard form divide that by 600 Get rid of that. Right, fifteen to the power of six. Divide that by six hundred. Will give you twenty-five thousand watts. Which is twenty-five thousand watts. Twenty-five thousand. You wouldn't want to put it in standard form because they're asking in. you can you can change it to standard form if you want 
that would be 2.5 times 10 to the power 4 watts or 25 kilo watt, which you don't really need to because they're asking for it watts. That brings us to the end of question number five. I'll see you again in question number six.